The Progressive Democrats have promised to increase contributory state pensions to 100 pounds a week over five years if the party gets into power. The PD leader Mary Harney also said she would penalise unemployed people who refuse what she described as reasonable offers of work or places and training programmes. Ms Harney was speaking in Cork from where Tony Connolly has filed this report. At an autism coffee morning just outside Cork City, Mary Harney unveiled plans to shake up unemployment benefits as well as pensions. But before she released details, she repeated a theme we'll see more of in this campaign. The battle is between the potential coalition partners, and enemy number one is Labour. That party, she said, were high tax, high spend, and had contributed to what she called a dependency culture. And she baited Dick Spring again about his refusal to meet her in a TV head-to-head. -head. Don't be afraid. I'll only debate the issues, nothing else. And if it helps you, uh, and you want a little bit of a hand, maybe Prunchies could come with you, and I'll take the two of you on together. Outlining five principles for the elderly, she said the PDs would introduce a five-year plan to bring the old age pension up to £100 a week. She said there were over 400,000 people over 65 who were not being recognised by the political system. She said the economic boom meant there was money available to fund the increase. And she attacked those unemployed people who don't take up reasonable work offers or training places. We have to police our social welfare laws vigorously. We have to ensure uh, that the welfare payments that are paid, which are substantial, go to those who need them. And if somebody is able-bodied and refuses to work uh, simply because they don't want to, then the taxpayer shouldn't be asked to carry the can for that. That money can be bet better spent going to pensioners or going to others. Those that do that are cheating on their fellow citizens. They're particularly cheating on their fellow social welfare recipients. Mary Harney continued with her campaign in Fermoy this afternoon where she encountered a local protest for Gaelskull funding. It's unclear yet how that kind of demand would fit into PD doctrine. But she did receive some support for her policies. Mary Harney has so far been unafraid to take her message of low taxation and low public spending to the voters. But with the first crucial opinion poll of the campaign imminent, today perhaps with the launch of her new pensions plan, she has been careful to show a kinder, more social-minded face to the Progressive Democrats.